My brother-in-law, Darren, has been diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and that's uh, easily, more easily known as COPD. COPD can result from emphysema, as it has with him, and as a result of having COPD, his lungs don't function properly. And as a result of all of this, he's required now, he needs surgery. So he needs a double lung transplant, and he doesn't have the funding to do it. I went and filed for disability, and that's what I've been living off of now. And it's like being real scarce with my money, trying to live day to day. You know, um, I get like $642 a month to live off of. And that's basically paycheck to paycheck. He's underinsured. So my husband, Greg, has been trying to help him find insurance. Um, the, the difficulty with that is um, he is disabled and now he has a pre-existing condition. So sir, uh, finding insurance is not an easy thing for him right now. I mean, my electric bill, my gas bill getting ready to get cut off now because I don't have the funds, the funds to keep it on. Um, my cell phone, I gotta have a phone because I don't have no, you know, no other sources of getting in contact with my doctors and stuff. I've been in and out of the hospital within this past year. I've been in the hospital maybe eight, nine times. Um, and if it wasn't for the insurance, I would probably be dead by now. You know, um, and thank God that I have my brother who helped, who helped me out a lot. You know, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I would be right now. Because of his disability, it's difficult for him to do anything without losing his breath. Um, he can't comfortably do his house chores. Um, he can't take but a few steps without losing his breath and having to take a break. Um, so everything is difficult for him right now. Everything is labored. Because he's been unable to work, things have been really tough, and Darren is really financially strapped. I cannot explain to you the difficulty that Darren has had uh, between fighting insurance companies, them arguing back and forth to decide who's responsible for paying for his surgery, dealing with um, just the daily uh, chore of living and having to exist on labored breath, uh, needing a double transplant, a double lung transplant. A lot of people just take it for granted, you know? I mean, I see, I sit at my window sometimes and see people just walking freely without oxygen. It, just, it, it makes me sad, you know? I sit, I sit here and, um, Excuse me. Just a lot of people take it for granted that, you know, grieving is a treasure, you know what I mean? And it's just hard for me to just see people walking without having oxygen, you know. And, and then just the difficulty of being away from his family um, and having to do all of this on his own. Um, he's been in my prayers and in our thoughts, and my husband has been with him every step of the way to try to help him, um, but it has not been easy. I've known my brother-in-law for almost 12 years now, and um, to know the vibrant, funny, um, humorous person that he was before, and to see him labor over his breath now, um, I'm just looking forward to him having the surgery so that he, can, he has so much more life to live. He's only 47 years old. And um, I'm just really prayerful that God would do something special in his life so that he can continue to live his life in the way that God has intended for him. Amen. Praise God. This is Darren Richardson. Amen. Let me just tell you, Darren didn't know this was going to happen. We surprised him, we brought him here today, and this is, what we, this is what we try to do, to help give him a resurrection out of his situation. God partnered with us at Zion Church to bless Darren. God is for those who are for the poor. Some things we plan to do, God did for us. So this is, what we, this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to help Darren by paying for the insurance he needed to qualify him for a double lung transplant, because he needs that. Let me tell you, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to do that, but while we were waiting to see if that would be possible, God saw fit to place it on the heart of the D.C. Health Department to go out of, out of policy and agreed to cover all costs related to his transplant through D.C. Medicaid. That's a $180,000 surgery, right? 180, it's more than that. It's a million dollars, 180 would have just been his. 
Wow, it's a million dollars. Huh? $980,000 is the surgery cost. So he's gonna get two new lungs. Let me tell y'all this. Because he was having such a hard time in D.C., he was gonna move out of D.C. so he could get the surgery covered to try Maryland or Virginia, but God stepped in. Darren will go in for a pre-op appointment this Tuesday so they could begin the process of matching him with a lung donor and preparing him for his surgery date which is sure to be in the next couple of months. Praise the Lord. Here's what we wanted to do. We wanted to give him more reliable transportation because he has a hoopty. <laughs> so we wanted to help Darren by finding him a more, more reliable car because he has a very old unreliable car and relies on friends or his brother Greg who's standing up here to transport him most places. While we were looking for a car, God placed it on the heart of Dawn, a family friend, to give Darren her used Toyota Camry. <laughs> Dawn, there's a, there's a picture of the car right there. She's going to give him to her, 1994, and guess what? Dawn is here. Bless you, Dawn. Come on up, Dawn. So since God hasn't let us do anything yet because he keeps stepping in and helping, this is what we're going to do. We got the car transported here from out of town. We're getting the car inspected and repaired from bumper to bumper by AGS Auto Repair, who's only charging us for the parts. The car is there now and will be ready next week. It's getting it fully detailed. Uh, my man Vernon of GWWOE is detailing the car for free. Not only that, but here's something else we're going to do for, for Darren. We're going to begin this month. May Brigade will provide major house cleanings regularly for seven months for Darren. Darren loves to cook. Um, and he's had a hard time with that, with food. So what we're going to do is we're providing six months of groceries. They'll be delivered by the giant Peapod for six months to his home. <laughs> we heard he needed dining room furniture to eat his food. And uh, we, we know that, you know, thought that Greg found him a dining room set on Craigslist. So that's how we were going to do it. But one of our Zion Church staff members heard about Darren's need and is giving you a be beautiful near new dining room set right there for free. We also have for you, because we know you're going to need help with your medication, we're going to give you $1,000 in CVS gift cards for your prescriptions. I used to have one of them myself. My lung went out. Have, we, have, we have family fun on us. We got Regal Cinema movie tickets for you. Chick-fil-A uh, Chick owner, uh, Keith Singletary, has donated a $100 gift card. And here's the deal, Darren. We know you're struggling fi financially, so we don't want you to have to worry about anything while you're but preparing and recovering from your surgery. So you had a Washington gas bill, we found out, and we paid for it for six months. So you're up to date and six months. You also had a Pepco bill. We've been all up in your business. We paid for your Pepco bill for six months. You have an overdue medical bill. It was originally $940. <laughs> the overdue medical bill, $940. But when we called to try to pay it, we told him we were from Zion Church. The lady says, you want to pay the whole thing? He said, yeah. When Trinace told him what we were doing, she says, hold on for a minute. She came back. She said, just give us $500. <laughs> Trinace said, no, that was before. Before Trinace even said what we were doing. Then Trinace said, well, you don't know. You just saved us $400 and something dollars. That's going to free up more money to do something for him. She told him the situation. She said, hold on again. She came back. She says, $250 or straighten it all out. <laughs> Glory. But here's the best thing I think we can do. Well, one of the best things for you. We wanted to make sure you ain't had no problems paying your rent while you recover from surgery. So we have a check. I don't believe. 
we will pay your check, pay your rent for six months from Zion Church for the next six months. Zion Church will pay your rent. Awesome. You want to turn the dial up on there? You need one. Now wait. Hold it. Hold it. I got one more thing. One more thing, Darren. You know, when a man has a situation like this happens to him, you really should have family celebrate this with you. So we know you have some local family members here, but because we didn't want you to celebrate this moment with the folks you see all the time, we drove your family here from New Jersey. Your two daughters, Bessie, Robin, James, Adia, Jessica, Eskidis, Rallo, Krisha, baby father, Junebug, Skeeter. <laughs> This is a resurrection, y'all. That's how you help the poor. These are his two daughters from New Jersey. They came down in a limo. We picked them up, and put them up in a hotel. Because God is for the poor, y'all. That's what's up. And I want to tell y'all something. If you're a regular giver to Zion Church, if you give regularly to this church, you help make all this happen by your giving. Now, today, this is going to be an opportunity for everyone here who wants to, to give even more help to this family. We just started the resurrection. God just did so much, but there's some things he needs. One is, he needs finances for medication, and, after, and aftercare beyond what Medicaid will cover. Uh, most of all, we're still praying for a matching donor for his lung transplant, right? And so we're looking for God to do that for him. There'll be, I don't know if, if Darren will be up to it, but there'll be a family table out there if you want to sign a card for him or if you want to do anything to help him and his family beyond this because, you know, when people come out of a, a situation they've been down, we need to help sustain this so that he never goes back, you know. And so we're excited about what God's doing. So thank you so much. I just want to pray for the family right now. And I'm so glad y'all came down from New Jersey today. Isn't this great, y'all? It's like Oprah Winfrey. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for Darren. We thank you for his brother Greg, who's done so much to advocate for his brother. And we thank you for a church family and that you, for Zion Church. And thank you for giving us your eyes to see this situation and for giving us your resources to step in and help. I thank you for people's hearts who are being touched right now in this audience, people online watching this, people watching this DVD who are going to be prompted to do even more for Darren and his situation. And we thank you for this now. Please bring it all together. Do something that will change people's opinion about you. In Jesus' name, amen.